all right guys that's my setup so i'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through how i made this i apologize in advance for some of the footage i recorded vertically on my iphone i wasn't thinking and yeah, it just kind of looks weird so i'm sorry about that but i tried to use as little footage as possible hope you guys enjoy if you guys haven't been to ikea it's a gigantic shopping center um you start out by entering and going to the showroom they have different sections bedrooms tables and all that good stuff you walk through the showroom you bring a little paper and you walk by and you write down what you want. This is actually me browsing the countertop section. Uh, they have a, a lot of different countertops as you guys can see. I ended up going with this countertop. It was 74 inches. So I went downstairs into the area where you pick up all your stuff and pay for it. And that's actually my countertop coming out after I waited 35 minutes for them to find it in the back. And that's how long it looked next to our car. That's me in the car with it. And this is my old setup. I have my figurines in this display cabinet over here. And then I have my desk that's really fucking ugly and really cluttered. I just knew I was going to get a new one, so I kind of stopped caring, which still isn't good. I got my DSLR, my two monitors. It's a 47-inch desk. It's small, old. I've had it for about four years. I got this regular office chair with the ottoman with some stuff on it. As you can see, my PC is underneath of my desk with some shitty cable management and some boxes and a green screen. I'm going to move the desk probably, it's going to bow from the edge all the way over there, and then move the display cabinet over there. So this is me just taking down my desk. As you can see, I already took off the monitors, and now it's just basically the cables. Let this play, and let some music play over it. So this is the room finally cleared out my girlfriend actually wanted to get a new dresser so i had to take the new dresser out as well but this is the progress so far and then the first step was to go ahead and build the drawers that i actually ended up picking up which are the ikea alex drawers so these are the drawers it didn't take too long to assemble i think maybe 30 minutes maybe a little bit longer for me because i just wanted to make sure i was doing it right And then these are the finished IKEA Alex drawers. That's what they look like. All right, so I'm a little sweaty. I've been taking apart, moving stuff. I've been, as you can see, clearing out the entire room. There's a lot of bullshit all over the places, but I'm sweaty. I've been working. I got all of this stuff out, and now I have to build all that. So for the countertop, I'm gonna take the legs off my old desk first, actually. So these are the IKEA Adels. I'm going to take off three of them from my old desk. The legs are still fine, so I'm going to go ahead and take those off. I'm going to be using the same screws and the same legs. So that's about me just looking about how it's going to look. I'm going to have the Alex drawers over there, and then that one in the middle for support, and then these two legs here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the holes and get drilling. For the drill bits I bought off Amazon, I'll have a link in the description, but I ended up using the 332 uh, drill bit for the holes. And I ended up putting tape on the drill bit because I didn't want to drill too far into the table to make a hole all the way through the table. So I put tape exactly where I wanted to stop drilling so I knew when to stop. And then I started marking the holes with a Sharpie and started drilling little holes. And after the holes were drilled, I vacuumed off the sawdust. I grabbed my little Ikea screwdriver, the Ikea drill. I started just go ahead and screwing in the legs. After all the legs were on, um, that's actually what it looked like. So we put the desk in, we put the drawers over on the right side, we moved the display cabinet, and we put the whole desk in, and that's what it looks like without anything on top of it. That's it with my monitors on it. Uh, we moved it up, as you can see, a little bit, and my PC, my mouse pad and stuff, just to see how everything was going to look. Um, and for the bottom, since I have a monitor mount that screws into the to the bottom of the countertop, and mine is not that thick, it's only one and three eighths inch thick. As you can see earlier when I was drilling the holes, I, put, I had a I had a little board there. That's what I used the board for. It's my girlfriend's old 
bed frame board so i ended up using that just for extra support at the bottom just a little bit more thickness this was the progress on the desk after i added the mic mount and then and then i'm going to put in the cable management trays uh, so these are the holes I drilled for the cable management trays. I actually didn't get the IKEA cable management trays. I ended up ordering two on Amazon for 25 bucks. They required nine holes each. So I had to go ahead and break out the drill again. I used the same drill bit, but this time I made much, 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 much smaller holes. And I was upside down because everything was already on the desk. And then after I put in the trays, I got the nine screws in. That's exactly what the cable management looked like. Sorry for the crappy footage. And this is pretty much the final product. I have my wireless phone charger, my PC, my mouse, my mouse pad my ikea fake plants my headphone stand i got from ikea a little glass nipple over the little plant that's also from ikea um that's my trash can i got my green screen my foldable green screen over there some tools some screwdrivers and stuff my map of cyrodiil over there on the drawers as you can see my cable management trays are looking nice finally don't have any wobble on my desk so we're gonna go ahead and get into this final product guys i hope you enjoy